Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about difference between hash map and hash table in Java. First, let us discuss about hash map. Hash map is a class which implements map interface. And we know a map contains key value pair, right? So the hash map uses the concept of bucketing to store and access the elements. Here is a syntax of declaration of a hash map, right? And how do we insert values into it? So we just need to call put method. There's a method called put where we can use the put method to insert the values. So we need to have a key value pair, right? So we can just say e one comma value one, something like this. And hash map does allows null value one null value as the key and multiple number of uh, uh, null values, right? So let's try it out. Okay. Let me put this as key two, key three, and we can see we are trying to insert null as a key and I'm doing it intentionally two times. So what should happen is it should overwrite this null value. And when we are inserting null values, but we have a distinct keys, then two should be inserted successfully into the hash map, right? Now let us see what will be the hash map size. Now we can see that it is four, right? So as expected, one, two, three, and there is a null one, right? So there are no not five elements in it, but there are only four because the key null, we used it two times and this got overridden. We only get one null key, right? So we were able to insert null as a key. We were able to insert multiple null values into the hash map, right? Now let us see how to iterate it. How to iterate over hash map elements. So you can see here, right? I have an iterator object. You can see here I'm using key set method on map, right? So we have an iterator and we have a loop here, which actually see, uh, checks if there is next element and then we read the next element. And we are also doing something here, like we are trying to remove an element from the hash map while we are iterating over it. Now let us see what happens. So if you observe, it actually, okay, it just prints iteration. All right. Okay, this is wrong, right? We have, we wanted to remove some element which does exist. Key two doesn't have value two, right? It just skipped that. So if you see here, we are getting concrete modification exception. This is because we are trying to modify the collection here within, uh, like when we are iterating over a hash map, we are trying to modify the hash map, right? So this is not possible with the iterator in hash map. So we clearly see that exception as concrete modification exception, right? So then how do we handle this? So there is another option, like we can use the same iterator, but what we can do is we can actually iterate over the entry set instead of key set. So earlier we used key set, right? This time we'll use entry set and we use map.entry in, in the iterator, right? Now we have the all entries, right? Loop remains the same, like we iterate over the iterator and then you can see here, right? We read the, from the iterator, we read the values as an entry, map entry, and then we can check if the get key actually gives you the actual, uh, you know, value of it, value related to that key. So we have each entry read here from the iterator. And when we call get key method, we get the value associated with this key. And we are verifying if it is equal to some string. If it is equal, we are trying to remove it. So this should work. Let us try this. Yeah, you can see here, right? Map says before iteration is four and this is three. So this one was found in the map, so it was removed, right? So this is all about hash map. Now let us see an example on hash table as well. So hash table is also like a class which implements map interface. 
Now, let us see an example on it. So, let me show you the declaration of it. So, it's also a key value pair, right? Now, I'm going to have integer as my key and string as a value. So, let's insert some values into it using put method, right? So, we are inserting three elements. And unlike hash map, uh, hash table, in hash table, we can't actually insert null either as key or as value. So we can even try that as well. Right, so I'm trying to insert null as a value into the hash table. And you can see, I'm trying to insert null as a key, right? So let's try one by one and check. So you can clearly see it throws null pointer exception, right? When we try to insert null as a value. Now let us try to actually insert null as a key into the hash table and verify. So this time also we can see it's a null pointer exception, which from which we can conclude that we can't actually insert null uh, either as a key or a value into the hash table, right? Now let us see how to iterate over hash table elements, right? Using enumeration, we can do that. So you can see we use the elements method on the hash table, which actually returns an enumeration. And we can iterate over enumeration in a loop, right? And we can also observe here something which we are doing similar to what we have done in the hash map, right? So we are trying to access the element. And at the same time, we are trying to modify an element into in the hash table while we are iterating over the hash table, right? So now let us see what happens. So there is no issue, right? Uh, we didn't get any concrete modification exception, right? So the, while iterating, we are modifying some something in, in, in the hash table, but it went through, right? We didn't get any exception as we are using enumeration here, right? So we can clearly see here, size before iteration is three. We, we do have three elements in it and size after iteration is two. So it was success. The element uh, with key three was successfully removed from the hash table, right? So this is all about hash table. Now let us see the differences between these two. So before that, the common things we know, right? Both implement map interface, both have put, get, remove, and uh, you know, contains key methods uh, and with a constant time of big O of one. So these are the common thing between these two hash map and hash table, right? And one more thing is like uh, no insertion order is maintained either in hash map or hash table. So which means that the first element you insert into the hash map or hash table may not be the first element uh, you get it when you access it, right? So which means that no insertion order is maintained, right? So these are the some com common functionalities between hash map and hash table. Now let us see the actual differences between these two, right? So we can clearly see, and we also saw this, right? Allows this hash map allows one null value as key, and we can have multiple null values, null values into the map, right? But hash table doesn't allow null either as key or as value. It doesn't allow, right? This is the one difference. And the second difference is we can use iterated to iterate values. And here in hash table, we can use enumeration, right? In hash map, we tried using iterator and uh, yeah, in hash table, we tried accessing the elements using enumeration, right? And iterator is fail fast. That is, we get concurrent modification exception when we try to modify it while iterating, right? Whereas no such issue, we find using enumeration. Then hash map is not synchronized, right? And can't be accessed by multiple threads, hash map, right? So it's faster than the hash table. However, we can use like collections dot synchronized map to make a thread safe for a version of hash map. In hash table, it is thread safe and can be shared between multiple threads in the application, right? So these are the main differences between hash map and hash table. Now, when to choose hash map over hash table? So we should use hash map for an unsynchronized or a single threaded application. And hash table is uh, deprecated from JDK 1.8, but we can use its replacement concurrent hash map 
in applications with uh, multiple threads, right? So we do have a, a replacement of hash table, though it is deprecated. That's called concurrent hash map, which can be used uh, in applications with multiple threads. So in this video, we saw like an example on what hash map is and what hash table is. And finally, we actually compared both, right? So that's all for this video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. Thanks for watching.